Welcome back to Becky Amy O Horse Training, and this is my brand new baby stud colt that was born on Mother's Day, May 9th. I thought I'd share with you guys what I'm getting done with him so far. Mostly, I've just been catching him up and kind of holding him and rubbing him all over, and then as soon as I feel his little body relax underneath the pressure of my hands holding him, I turn him loose. I keep these sessions super short, you know, lot, not a huge attention span here, and I'm interrupting his lunchtime right now. And I kind of do just as much as he'll let me do within reason. I try not to turn him loose when he's fighting with me and he's resisting like this, because remember you guys, they learn when we release the pressure. So he learns that when he relaxes and he quits resisting, I'm gonna turn him loose and release the pressure and stop asking anything of him. So this colt is a son of my Why Not Firewater stud, and this mare is, her name is Elvia Six, and she's an own daughter of Streak and Six, and this guy is going to be a barrel racing prospect for me, and so I'm pretty excited about him. I'm pretty happy with how this colt turned out, so I've been making a point every day to get in here with him and play with him and touch him all over. Uh, I'm trying really hard to do things with him that he's going to experience like when I'm on his back. So I make sure that I lay over the top of his back when I'm holding him and he can see me out of both eyes. I make sure that I can touch him in his girth area. I'm trying to start to rub my hands down his legs and um, rub him on his neck and around his butt. You know, all that stuff that I do that you guys see me do during groundwork and when I'm riding them. And it takes me a little bit to get to him. Usually I do this session when mama's eating her grain and he's standing there trying to nurse. And now he's kind of starting to get it figured out what our game is here. And he likes to be scratched on the butt. So that's usually where I start and then I can catch him up. And again, I just hold him lightly. I try to do it from both sides of him and make sure that he feels that pressure of my body against his and lean over and make sure he looks out of both eyes and sees me up above him and behind him. And all this stuff is going to make a huge difference, you know, in a couple of years when it comes to riding him. And it's going to make a huge difference in handling him the rest of his life. So right here, uh, I caught him on the other side I was working on. So I'm going to swap sides here, rub him all over as much as I can, reach down the legs, rub his belly. And he releases that tension a whole lot faster this time than he did the first time I grabbed him. And I back away and let him learn from that experience and learn from that release. I go back up and pet on mama, tell her thank you for letting me pet on her baby. And that's the extent of our session. That's how it's been going. I sure appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more updates.